Hello and welcome to this video. In in this video I'm just gonna give a quick explanation of roles in Drupal and exactly how how to use them. I'm on my test site here and it's on my screencast site and um I'm under my users tab under users management and this is where all the users on your site is listed and the information about them. I've just created um four users. They are me, Steve Jobs, obviously this isn't real Steve Jobs, um senior editor and Joe Bloggs. So the idea with roles is that ev everyone on the site has a different ha has a different needs for what they need to do. For example, Joe Bloggs wouldn't would only be able to view the site, and I I wouldn't want Steve Jobs messing about with all all the web stuff that was meant for me, the webmaster, and and everything would have to go through the the senior editor before it was published on the site so that's basically what you use roles to do if we go into our permissions screen we see that there's all these options and for all the modules um, you have different options as you see different people can um, Use PHP for what visibility, uh, filter content, and uh, delete their content, and um, whatever they want to do. So, um, these are the two roles: um, anonymous user and authenticated user. I'm just going to show you kind of the methodology of how to set this up. It's going to be different for different sites, but I'm just going to show you for this particular example, and hope hopefully you get what I mean. So if we go into our roles screen, we probably want for that senior editor. If you think about what their jobs are on the site, their role is the senior. Editor. That's why I gave them. Um, that's why I gave them names like that, so it'll make it easier. And then we're gonna add role. And then we're gonna wanna edit that role. Edit the permissions, and just like we saw there, ask what they can do. So. So we'd want the senior editor to be able to access content. Um, we wouldn't want them. We'd want them to be able to create stories. Um, create content. Delete revisions and delete any content that they didn't feel was useful. Um, but you wouldn't want to give them administrative roles. So that's that's the senior editor done. That's the first role that we've created. If we think about um, what I can do as the admin then I've got global permissions to be able to do anything as that webmaster so for that we don't need to create another role um, but for uh, Joe blogs we're just going to create a blogger role the 
role of a blogger. And we want to edit the role. Sorry, I went to the wrong place there, guys. Edit the role of the blogger. We don't want them to be able to administer anything, but we probably want them to um, be able to create stories. We want them to be able to edit own story content so they can edit it later. And you, using the workflow module with probably gonna wanna let them do other things later but we're not gonna do that now because I don't have the workflow module installed. So all the bloggers can do is create story content and um edit their own story content. They can't me mess with anybody else's. Um so we sort of thinking about what they'd want to do. Um, uh, and then I've already got a role which is the 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 administer is the first user that's ever created in Drupal so even if you give someone else full administer permissions can never get rid of that role so I don't need to create a specific role but Steve Jobs is going to want another role and he's going to want a role of the managing director again this this isn't very specific to what they'd actually want to do but he'd want to be able to do anything related to content but not necessarily related to the, to the website because you'd leave that up to the webmaster so if we go in and edit his permissions he'd, he'd probably want to be able to do most things with the You'd want to be able to view revisions, edit any page content. He'd want to do most things in his content. He'd definitely want to be able to access, 14 hours. access content. He may want to, want to administer nodes. He definitely want to create content. So the only one that you wouldn't allow for someone like the managing director in this case, you wouldn't allow any of the module, but in terms of the content you'd allow everyone but minister content types, because that's not uh, Drupal specific. Um, okay, so we've got that role created. Now, if we look at our role screen now, um, we're going to want to, we've got all our roles full, all our users and, and all the people that we're going to we create specific roles in our company, but what about the person that signs into our site and has the ability to do things like create forum topics? Well, we'd want to delete 
Um, we learned something. The authenticated user is someone who, just like an entities, citing has no permissions. So we probably not want to allow him to post comments without approval. And we wouldn't want we wouldn't want him to be able to create his own content. Maybe we'd allow him to uh, create a forum topic. But all we're gonna want allow him to do is access content and and post comments. That's all we're gonna want him to do. We're not gonna want him to be able to delete or create any content we're just going to want him to um be able to view all elements of the site so that's joe blogs done the next thing that i always do is go and edit this role just for good measure I've just discovered that I can't for some reason because it's a locked default role but now how do we say who has this role because by default um, a new user that just signed up has the role of authenticated user so how do we give specific people specific roles or we go into the users and we want me to have um we want me to have all roles so we're not gonna change me but we only want the uh, senior editor to have the role that we configured with all those permissions of senior editor. I'm going to update that. Now all his permissions have changed. As you see there, it says roles senior editor. Let's go ahead and sign some other roles we wanted the joe blogs persons to only be a blogger so just blogs bog standard blogger that you'd have on your site and steve jobs is the managing director so we're going to want him to be able to do anything that we set up for the managing director role so we're going to update that and um what i'm going to show you is the uh is the um Uh, uh, managing director account. So if we log out and log in as him, we only get his permissions and it shows us his profile, but I'm just going to go in and edit his password because and it, remember it says what roles he's got there and everyone has the authenticated user role by default um but yeah i'm going to change his password because i can't remember what i said it to originally i'm not this is not my live site as you've seen this is a screencast site so set up a test environment guys it's the bomb 
Kind of just gonna log out of my administer. Um, I'm gonna log in as the user we set up. Steve Jobs. The password of. Cheese. And you'll notice that when he logs in, he he can create content, but he doesn't have this um, administer option, just like we didn't want him to. So he can go to create content, and if we go to a piece of content, he, he can. Uh, not do much, not do much to that content, which is what we wanted. But he's got control because he's the managing director, so he can edit that content if he ne if he needs to. But um, that's just one row. But if we logged into the the others, we'd um we'd see see that but see the, the options that we set up for that specific well but it's basically just a case of analyzing the types of people that are going to use your site and the people that are, are in your organization and then setting up specific roles and only allocating them to them um thanks for watching this video and i hope it helped you because I'm, I know I found roles a bit confusing.